Today I'm going to show you how to edit files in Google Classroom right now. Hey guys, my name is Abdul Rahman and I'm a high school teacher and Google Certified Educator. On this channel, I make teaching and student tutorials like this one with the occasionally random, totally out of place video game or anime video. If that appeals to your interests, consider subscribing. Today I'm going to show you how to annotate or edit a document in Google Classroom. Basically, you might have noticed that teachers try to give Word docs, Google docs, JPEGs, PDFs, a variety of documents, and it's kind of difficult to edit them without having to open up Google Docs or a bunch of million apps, and you may not have space for those on your phone. Teachers, you may have assigned this stuff, and your students might not actually know how to edit the document you gave them. That's why this video exists. So students, you can use this video to learn how to edit documents right in your Google Classroom app without having to download anything else on your phone or tablet. Teachers, show it to your students. So without further ado, this is how to edit documents in Google Classroom right now. So you're gonna start by opening up the Classroom app and go to the class where your teacher has assigned something. So my teacher assigned me this assignment called Worksheets. And sometimes if the teacher has done correctly, you're gonna see all the assignments in the Your Work area of the assignment. Let's go ahead and click on that. Now if you notice, there's four different types of documents here. There's a PDF, there's a slide, there's a Word doc, and there's an art worksheet, which is a picture. So let's start from the top, the algebra worksheet, which is a PDF. You see how it loads this and it says distributive property and now I have to draw on it. I can always open it up in another app, but that's rather confusing and I may not have space on my tablet or phone to actually draw on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this pen tool in the top right and see how it does. It takes me to a new screen where I have this tool at the bottom, the pen. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the pen at the bottom in the pen bar and I can pick what color I want my pen to be. And I can pick how huge I want the marker of the pen, so based on the size that I need. So maybe I don't need something drastically huge here. So I'll go here, I'll touch the pen, and now I'm ready to start working. So I know that the first thing is two times four. This is a little small, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use two fingers to move this so that it's a little more visible. Now, I know that I need to use the distributive property, so that's going to become two times four is eight plus 18 W. Wow, that took me a second. But basically, that's all I had to do. I just drew with my finger and now I edited this PDF successfully. If I made a mistake, I can hit this eraser tool that's right next to the pen tool, and I can erase that W. Hit the pen tool again, and maybe I wanna change color this time, and I'll write W. I finished that part. I can once again hit two fingers to zoom out and move somewhere else. This time, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna write in a green pen with a thicker dot, and I'm gonna do this. So, this is going to become 16D plus 20. I'm an English teacher, but I know a little bit of math. So now I've got this, and I like this, but maybe I don't like my handwriting that much. So maybe this time I don't wanna draw by hand. Maybe this time I actually wanna write it out, like type it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hit this little A at the end, and I'm gonna go here. And when I touch there, now this is gonna bring up a text box, which I can make bigger as I need to. So two times three V is six V. Need the minus sign, minus 16. I hope that's right. But now notice how it's kind of small and my teacher might not actually see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the select tool. I'm gonna to hover over here so that it's bigger and now I can stretch the size as I need to and move it wherever I need to. Maybe I even move it down here if I need. But the point is I go there and now my teacher can see the sign and see how I forgot that equal sign? So I can go to the pen here and I can click equal. And that's it. Now when I'm done with this, I have to make sure I do this part. I'm gonna hit save. And see how it's gonna say edited and it's gonna load it for a second? Wait for it to load. Do not exit or press X until it's done. So now, 
When I go back there, you can see there's an edited sample student algebra worksheet right there, which if I click on, shows my answers. Now, the next step is the science worksheet. Now, this is a Google slide, and my teacher only gave me one slide, but your teacher could have given you many. Good thing is you can write in all of them. So now here, I need to fill out the parts of the cell. So for example, this one is the outside most. So once again, I'll do this, and maybe this time I don't want this pen. Maybe this time I want the actual larger tool. So I'll go with membrane. And as you can see, again, it's not very neat because it's a small space, so I'm gonna erase it all, use two fingers to zoom in, and now I can write with a lot more comfort. Mem brain. There we go. And now my teacher can actually see it a lot more neatly because I zoomed in first. Now here's what's really interesting. Maybe I wanna use the second to last tool, which is called a highlighter, and I'll pick a yellow highlight, and this time I'll draw something there so that my teacher sees what I'm pointing at here. Maybe. And what's really interesting, again, I can also take the text tool, and as I did before, I can type something here. So this is, I wanna move up a little to make it a little more visible for myself. And then this is another part of cell, Android 17. So maybe that's the part of the cell we're referring to. Anime fans will get that joke. But the point is you can fill out the entire thing just as you did before, and this was a slide, so this was actually different from the edit thing. When you save it, it's going to save it as a PDF. It will not save it as a slide. But your teacher will still be able to see your edited response. So this is the edited science worksheet with my response. Now the third one, we'll go to the art worksheet, which is a picture. Here, when you click on the pen, you're going to see, this time, the teacher asked you to draw some textures. So here, you can actually draw textures. And when you click here, this time maybe you want standard black. You want a thinner pen, and you can draw. Now, I don't like this color. I thought I'd pick black, I did not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna erase. Then I'm gonna pick black again, and this time I'll go here. And now I'll do this. So art teachers, this is great for you. History teachers this is also great for you because you can have them annotate on maps if you need to. And then this is proof of why I'm not an art teacher, by the way. So I hit save. Once again, it edits the picture. This time it's gonna save it as a picture. So once the editing is done, you'll see edited art worksheet. Voila, it shows my design. And finally, English, the one I care about the most. This is a Google Doc, so technically you can just download Google Docs and edit this, but you may not have space on your actual phone or tablet. So you'll hit here, once again, the pen button at the top, and now it's gonna open this thing up. And now, after what seems like forever, it finally opened the thing up, so it asked me to read this poem by Langston Hughes, and I have to underline all use of simile. So once again, I can take the pen, I can take whatever color I want, make it a little thicker or thinner as I need. And technically I even have more colors available, so maybe I don't want this red, I want this red, which is more like a pink actually, but oh well. So I need to underline all use of simile, so like a raisin in the sun, like a sore, like rotten meat, like a syrupy sweet, like a heavy load. Okay, so I think I got all the use of simile. And then the margin, I have to explain the impact. So this time, instead of writing by hand, I'm going to go to this A. I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna start typing that the impact that this use of simile has on the reader is that it makes the poem more, instead of, it makes the poem richer with imagery. And then I'll hit save once again. It's gonna save the PDF version. 
And now, once I'm done with everything, as you can see, I have four edit documents to go with the sheets that they had initially given me, and I can hit turn in when I'm done. So that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions or future requests, please do leave them in the comments below and I'll answer to the best of my ability. If videos like this are interesting to you and you don't find the occasional anime, video game, or random K-pop drop, consider liking and subscribing. This is Pax Annie Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.